Question number 231. You have an Azure subscription. You need to create a new resource that will generate fictional stories in response to user prompts. The solution must ensure that the resource uses a customer managed key to protect data. You need to complete the following script. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A AI services. Option B language authoring. Option C open AI. The correct answer is option C open AI. You need to create a resource that will generate fictional stories in response to user prompt which aligns with the capabilities provided by the OpenAI service in Azure. Question number 232 You have an Azure subscription. You need to create a new resource that will generate fictional stories in response to user prompt. The solution must ensure that the resource uses a customer managed key to protect data. You need to complete the following script. Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A Option B Option C The correct answer is Option C. It is used to specify encryption settings for the Azure Cognitive Services account, allowing you to configure customer managed keys for data protection, which meets the requirement to use a customer managed key. Question number 233 You plan to deploy a containerized version of an Azure Cognitive Services service that will be used for sentiment analysis. You configure contoso.cognitiveservices.azure.com as the endpoint URI for the service. You need to run the container on an Azure virtual machine by using Docker. You need to complete the following command. Which value should you choose for placeholder 1? Option A, Option B, Option C, Option D. The correct answer is Option D. It specifies the correct container image for deploying the sentiment analysis service. This is the appropriate image to use for performing sentiment analysis using Azure Cognitive Services in a containerized environment. Question number 234 You plan to deploy a containerized version of an Azure Cognitive Services service that will be used for sentiment analysis. You configure contoso.cognitiveservices.azure.com as the endpoint URI for the service. You need to run the container on an Azure virtual machine by using Docker. You need to complete the following command. Which value should you choose for placeholder 2? Option A Option B Option C Option D the correct answer is Option B. This is the endpoint URI for the Azure Cognitive Services resource, which is needed to authenticate and interact with the service for sentiment analysis. Question number 235. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure App Service app named App 1. You provision a multi-service Azure Cognitive Services resource named CS Account 1. 
you need to configure App1 to access CS Account 1. The solution must minimize administrative effort. What should you use to configure App1? Option A a system assigned managed identity and an X.509 certificate. Option B the endpoint URI and an OAuth token. Option C the endpoint URI and a shared access signature SAS token. Option D the endpoint URI and subscription key. The correct answer is option D the endpoint URI and subscription key. Key. The simplest and most common way to authenticate an app with a multi service Azure Cognitive Services resource like CS Account 1 is to use its endpoint URI and subscription key. This approach minimizes administrative effort and allows App 1 to call the service directly without requiring complex identity configurations. Just a quick reminder, if you don't have time to watch these videos and instead download all questions and answers, feel free to purchase them on Buy Me A Coffee page. I have shared the link below. Question number 236. You are building a chatbot. You need to ensure that the bot will recognize the names of your company's product and code names. The solution must minimize development effort. Which Azure Cognitive Service for language service should you include in the solution? Option A. Custom text classification. Option B. Entity linking. Option C. Custom named Entity Recognition NER Option D Key Phrase Extraction The correct answer is Option C Custom Named Entity Recognition NER It allows you to train a model to recognize and categorize specific entities such as your company's product and code names. This minimizes development effort by leveraging Azure's capabilities to build a custom model for your specific needs. Question number 237. You are designing a content management system. You need to ensure that the reading experience is optimized for users who have reduced comprehension and learning differences such as Dyslexia. The solution must minimize development effort. Which Azure service should you include in the solution? Option A Azure AI Immersive Reader. Option B Azure AI Translator. Option C Azure AI Document Intelligence. Option D Azure AI language. The correct answer is option A Azure AI Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader is specifically designed to enhance reading comprehension and accessibility. It helps users with learning differences like dyslexia by providing features such as text to speech adjustable text spacing, font customization, and grammar support. It minimizes development effort by offering easy integration through SDKs and APIs. Question number 238. You have an Azure subscription that contains an Azure Open AI resource named AI1. You plan to build an app named App1 that will write press releases by using AI1. 
you need to deploy an Azure OpenAI model for App1. The solution must minimize development effort. Which three actions should you perform in sequence in Azure OpenAI Studio? 1. Create a deployment that uses the text dash embedding dash ADA dash 002 model. 2. Apply the marketing writing assistant system message template. 3. Apply the default system message template. 4. Create a deployment that uses the GPT 3.5 Turbo model. 5. Deploy the solution to a new web app. Option A, 2, 4, 5. Option B, 4, 2, 5. Option C, 5, 4, 2. Option D, 4, 3, 5. The correct answer is option B, 4, 2, 5. To minimize development effort when building an app that writes press releases, first deploy the GPT 3.5 Turbo model suited for natural language generation. Then apply the marketing writing assistant system message template to tailor the model for press release writing. Finally, deploy the solution to a new web app. Question number 239. You have a conversational language understanding model. You export the model as a JSON file. The following is a sample of the file. What represents the weather.historic entity in the sample utterance? Option A. Last year. Option B. By month. Option C. Amount of. Option D. Average. The correct answer is Option B. By month. The weather.historic entity, as indicated by the start pose of 23 and end pose of 30 in the JSON file, correspond to the phrase by month in the sample utterance. Question number 240. You are developing an app that will use text-to-speech capability of the Azure AI speech service. The app will be used in motor vehicles. You need to optimize the quality of the synthesized voice output. Which space synthesis markup language SSML attribute should you configure? Option A, the style attribute of the MSTTS express as element. Option B, the effect attribute of the voice element. Option C, the pitch attribute of the prosody element. Option D, the label attribute of the emphasize element. The correct answer is Option A, the style attribute of the MSTTS express as element. To optimize the quality and expressiveness of the synthesized space, especially for use in motor vehicles where clarity and tone are crucial, you should configure the style attribute of the MSTTS express as element in SSML. This attribute allows you to apply Microsoft neural voice style like narration, chat or customer service that improve speech naturalness and appropriateness for specific use cases.